Bleach Japan. Can't say I'm used to that yet. Same for me. Still, to see the Seiryu clan so openly transition to a non-profit and even be welcomed by the public? Well, I've never seen a chairman do that before. Please, I'm just thinking of the future. Nonsense. This was by no means an easy feat, you know. Here, here. For years, anti-gang laws had given us a choice of two options. Stay small or go underground. And now we're basically endorsed by the country. Finally, there's another way out. The Yakuza have been aiding this country for decades. Ever since all that chaos snaked its way in after the war. This is the evolution of that. Better yet, I'd say it's exactly how things should be. Absolutely. It might even help the world to see the truth, that the Yakuza are still needed. A necessary evil, if you will. Yeah. We'll take our rightful place at the heart of it all. Secure our legacy for years to come. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza is looking real bright. Hell, it's brighter than ever before. Yes, and for that, I'll need you all to be at your absolute best. I'm counting on you. Now then, let's call it a day. Thank you, everyone. I thought I told you to cut that out. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, thanks again. Narasaki, a moment if you would. Sir? I wanted to discuss some personnel changes. Usually I don't pause in the opening cutscenes of a recording, but we're missing one man. I got a feeling he knows, and that man is no longer available. Yeah, I don't. Yep, I. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, didn't see that coming. Honestly, I'm ashamed. Only Yakuza filth would resort to a cheap tactic like this. Still, you want to let your hate run wild? Well, a knife in the back's just the thing. Minimal effort, maximum suffering. <laughs> The future of the Yakuza? <laughs> it was a pipe dream from the start. When the trash is full, the only thing left to do is take it out. <laughs> All this time they've put their trust in me. And they've had no clue. It's almost tragic. Oh, jeez, he's in the wheelchair. Isn't it, Sawashiro-san? I was hoping you'd live long enough to see it. The only future your kind have waiting. Oh, is he about to torch the Tojo clan house? Oh no, okay, just the body. Never mind, it just spread to the house. The absolute madman! Now then, it's been about a week since the incident. Could you tell us more about the people who attacked the Seiryu clan offices? Well, firstly, it should be said that this marks a historic shift for the Yakuza. Okay. Oh, this is immediately going to cause issues. Kiryu is dead, technically. Oh, man. A lot of people are going to come out of the woodwork for this one. World. A few years ago, the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance, for decades the Yakuza's two biggest players, mutually disbanded. 
Among those in the trade, this event was labeled the Great Dissolution. The largest remaining Yakuza group thereafter was the Seiryu clan, who of course was the target of last week's attack. Right, and? And now, the same Seiryu clan, the current frontrunner, has taken up the torch to disband every other group still in Japan. Yes, I see. That certainly does sound historic. But the real question is, is it possible? You'd be fair to ask. At the very least, it does seem unrealistic. However, as a first step to seeing it through, the clan officially confirmed its disbandment to the police just the other day. So the torchbearers took initiative, set an example to the group still active. Correct. Additionally, the Seiryu clan also aims to reintegrate former members back into society. They mean to implement an occupation support program in partnership with a Hawaiian volunteer group, it seems. And in order to officiate things with the government, they've since reformed into a non-profit. Naturally, as the country can't just openly cooperate with organized crime. Of course, while it may be a means to an end, it does show how serious the Siryu clan's taking things. Let's not forget, they did disband. It's also expected that the other Yakuza groups across the country will follow suit, leading this movement to now be called the Second Great Dissolution. Now, some out there won't take too kindly to this, as you might have guessed. And there's a spark, the connection to the incident at the Seiryu headquarters. Ah, so those were the dissenters? They were responsible for the attack? Looking at those involved, yes, it seems highly likely. Speaking of, actually, the man pictured here is the one they call Hiryu. It's suspected he's the central figure of those opposing the Yakuza's disbandment. Really? And just who are we dealing with here? You'll recall I mentioned the Tojo clan earlier, previously one of the largest Yakuza groups in Japan. He's one of its former chairmen. In short, a true blue Yakuza big shot. Rumor is, Kiryu wants anything but disbandment, which can only mean he wants the Yakuza back on top. I see. Well, regarding Kiryu, it's also said he has ties with the so-called Hero of Yokohama, that being one Ichiban Kasuga. He too has been in the news of late, after forcing former Yakuza to commit theft under the guise of reacclimating to society. And Kasuga's also a former Tojo clan member on top of that. As it stands, there's a good chance he's acting under Kiryu's command, a cog in his machine. Therefore, we're looking at a unique conflict. In one corner, the Siryu clan, who seek to tear down tradition and forge a new path. And in the other, Kazuma Kiryu, who aims to revive the old ways for his own interests. A clash between new and old ideologies. So it seems. Thank you for your time. Following the attack, the culprits promptly went into hiding. As citizens remain frightened, it is imperative that these assailants be found as soon as possible. Yeah, we're back at the Hobo Camp. Got word from the lookout. Doesn't seem like people know you're here. Sorry to trouble you like this, Chief. With all that's happened, this was the best place I could think of. Hey, I'm not one to turn away women and children. That being said, I never thought I'd see you back here again. He even brought friends this time. Lots of friends. And also, we're all one big party, like I said earlier, so we're back. Our apologies, Chief. We really appreciate it. The world outside says you're a criminal. You certainly got the face for it. But I'll tell you, I only ever trust what I see for myself. I've seen a lot. You're not the kind of man to shake things up. Still... That mug's terrifying. <laughs> he heard you the first time. Thank you, sir. When the time comes, I'll be sure to repay you. Well, y'all just kick back for now. Check in again soon. The chief really helped us out. Thanks for doing all this, Kasuga. 
No, I can't exactly say we're in the clear. But we're lucky to have a safe zone, especially with the world watching. Yeah. And plus, we can't stay hidden forever. Maybe nice moving quick. Once the Waste Disposal Project on Nele Island's in motion, countless Seiryu clan members will be exploited. We need to act before Ebina gets the chance. Right. <coughs> Ebina? <coughs> It's been some time, Kasuga-san. Missed Japan, did we? Japan? Wait, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> and I thought you wouldn't be surprised. But no matter. I got reports from Dwight's men, just as you were off and on your way. Bryce and I are still business partners, you know. Anyhow, Kiryu-san's there with you too, yes? Kiryu-san? And what if he was? What do you want, Ebina? Kiryu-san? It's fine, Kasuga. With all those resources, I mean, I probably knew we'd meet up. Glad you see how it works. And with that, I've got some great news for you. Our Yakuza rehabilitation program was approved. Just yesterday, the government gave us free reign to see it through. Well, isn't that nice? So what? You call us just to get your kicks or something? Of course. The least I can do is share the joy with others. Goody. Actually, there's one other thing. Thought perhaps you'd want to know. We're in an actual cutscene. Bad things are about to happen. Uh. It seems I've caught myself a rat. And I must say, it's a big one. Kasuga-san should appreciate this. Oh. Captain. Uh. Did you really think I wouldn't notice his betrayal? Of all people? Knowing his intentions, I let him roam free until the proverbial ball started rolling. In fact, Sawashiro-san was quite instrumental in gathering our colleagues. They poured in left and right. What do you plan to do with him? Are you still set on taking revenge against the Yakuza? I doubt you'd make this kind of display otherwise. Who would? Revenge? <laughs> Who's to say? My reason for this is simple. I could think of no better bait to reel you in. You wouldn't leave him to die, would you? If not in your character. Don't worry. About me. Apologies. Now. God damn it. It's always the Millennium Tower. Can you guys figure somewhere else out? If you all would please come to the top floor of the Millennium Tower by 10 p.m. tomorrow. Miss our little appointment, and I dispose of the rat, plain and simple. Till then. Am I going to be fighting back up the Millennium Tower like I did before? Aiding us with a hostage. Guess he wants us out in the open. Yeah, we know the truth about his plans. That's the last thing he wants. This guy must be special. What with Ebi not holding him like that, right? It's our hero, I mean. No way you could just ignore that. I, I mean, we got the talent, don't we? So, let's go save him. No. Ebina's not the only issue here. Not with what's happening overseas. Or I'll be splitting back in two teams again. One's going to Hawaii to take care of Bryce. The other one's going to be going up the Millennium Tower to save Sour Shiro. As just announced, the Seiryu Clan, now known as Nonprofit Bleach Japan Rehabilitation Program and all, has been officially approved by the Japanese government. It is believed the government and Bleach Japan had been coordinating their plans behind closed doors for some time. A week prior to the announcement, a cruise ship carrying former Seiryu clan members left Japan for Honolulu. The ship arrived in the city just earlier today. On location, Hawaii's governor and Bryce Fairchild of partner organization Palaikana welcomes the vice representative of Bleach Japan, Eiji Mitamura, as he stepped ashore. 
Oh, sneaky bat. The first wave's already there. The ship is scheduled to depart for Nelly Island tomorrow, where the program will officially get underway. Oh, no. They're bringing the Yakuza to the island tomorrow. Once they touch down, neither the state of Hawaii nor the Japanese government will care what happens next. Thus, the brainwashing begins. They'll have wiped their hands clean, and that'll be that. And from there, they'll work as Bryce's slaves, dumping nuclear waste till the day they die. What a joke. We don't have a lot of time, not for Japan or Hawaii. What's the call? We split up. It might be dangerous, but we can't let either one go. Kazuga, about Ebina. Mind if I handle things out here? You go and stop Bryce in Hawaii. Huh? Any reason? He might be your step, your uh, brother in a way. Actually, I'd like a word with him. There's some speculation, of course, but it's about Ebina's origins. His what? We can talk outside. I'll be waiting. Uh, Ebina is like your stepbrother. Kazuka-san wanted to meet me, talk to me about Ebina's past. Excuse me. Kanesa, Lani. You two are cold? Oh, I'm just fine. Thank you. What about you, Lani? Yeah. I'm okay. Gotcha. Well, I'm sure we can at least get you two some hot water if you guys want. Let us stay here is plenty. We've made things difficult. No. Hey, it's no trouble. Even if it was, no worries. It's okay to, to trouble people now and then. You two have done all you can up to this point. Nobody's blaming you for anything. Not even Mab Nelly, Alpha. <laughs> eh, maybe. I guess we can ask for a bit of grace. Definitely, and that reminds me, Lonnie. We're in home stretch now. <laughs> Once things sell down, we're hitting the town. I'm gonna show you all this country's all about. Okay, thanks, Ishiban. What's up? Who are you? What's up? Curious, you talked to him, didn't he? Very nice. Thanks. Can... Oh, I won't. I'll just. I just. I want. Thank you first. I really appreciate you guys taking care of him all this time. Just do my job. It's heavy in the world. I'd be remiss not to. <laughs> Plus, knowing I could help him, even a little, it's quite an honor. That right. Yes. Anyway, think nothing of it. Go on and see Curious on. Ichiban. Hey, Ichiban. Hmm? Yeah. You mentioned before there was already someone special in your life, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. You mean what I said back at Kanisan's? It's Psycho-san, isn't huh? it? Huh? What? How do you know? I mean, you keep looking over at her. It's pretty obvious. <sighs> Seriously? Man, I'm such a creep. What's up? Come on. You're really not gonna talk to her? Well, <laughs> you only get one life. As far as I know, be ashamed to waste it. <laughs> you know, I think Adachi-san told me something. Same thing. Thanks, Chi Chan. I think I'll give mm -hmm. it a shot. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hey. Looks like we got Lonnie and Connie's son back here safe and sound. Question is. Question is, what do we do from here on? Okay. Now? Yeah. Just gotta see things through now. Alright, it's Rare Child and Mas Masakata Ebina, huh? Picked a real pair this time around, didn't we? <laughs> sure did. But we'll put them in their place. Yes. Yeah. That's out. Hmm. <laughs> Remedy, man. Japan's cold as hell. Well, it's in the middle of winter. You gonna make it? <laughs> Besides, Lonnie, seems she's doing pretty well. No good for grown up like me. It's out here complaining, no? You can always ask the chief for some hot water. Seriously? For him? Good to know. I can barely feel my feet. Sachan. Uh, hey, Sachan. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I uh, just wanted to say, thanks for sticking by Kiryu-san, uh, Kiryu-san and stuff. Nope. Nah, it was nothing. I want to. Anyhow. Oh, right. Still, thank you. Mm-hmm. 
Did you say Kiryu want to talk to you, by the way? Oh, yeah, he did. I'll catch you later. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't. Oh, I did talk to you. Never mind. Jungin Han. <laughs> Shame I stayed in Hawaii. It was too so short. True, actually. Since we we got you, immediately done. Yeah, sorry to ship you back home so quick. Still, it did help us get the girls Japan side. Yes. Yes, an accomplishment to be sure. All that's left is checkmate, so it's Okay. Right, Bryce and Ebony. We won't let them get away with it. Oh, Zhao, really? I can't talk to you? Come on, Zhao, you're my man. Namba, uh, who thought we'd be back here again, eh? Honestly, not a bad spot. Thanks. <laughs> right? By the way, Namba, thanks for looking after Kiri, son. Eh, all I did was watch the guy. He didn't want need anyone, especially not me. Yeah, right, man. He looks way better than he did back in Hawaii. Yeah, uh, he did in Hawaii. You guys must have gone above and beyond. <laughs> well, thank Son He and Saja. <laughs> fine, fine. Whatever you say. We still got a few more memories with him. All right, Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san. You want to talk to me? It'll probably take a while to explain. You good on time? Yes. Um, yeah, I'm good. Let's hear it. All right, cutscene time. So, Ebi and I are brothers? If what Daigo said is true, then, yeah, you'd be half-brothers. Assuming you're Arakawa's son, which, of course, still isn't clear. I'm of the kind that says he is 100% his son. I don't care what they say. There's no black or white for a Yakuza. Only the boss makes that call. And you're sworn to go along with it. Mebina probably didn't care much for that line of thinking. That's my guess, at least. The Hikawa family patriarch, that being Ebina's grandfather, forced the marriage between his daughter and Arakawa. He never once considered their feelings. And when Arakawa asserted his love for Akane-san, that same man tried to have him killed. Why was Hikawa angry? Because his daughter was shamed? Not even close. It's because he made the call, yet Arakawa made his own. For all the man had, Ikawa just couldn't let that go. And the result? Maybe not lost the father, while his mother could only go so far. He was born of the Yakuza, and that would follow him the rest of his life. This isn't anything special either. I've seen similar tragedies happen countless times. Many times. I even had the chance to change those old ways once or twice. I was the fourth head of the Tojo clan. But even then, I chose a different path. And then you stuck the wrong man in charge, Kiryu. The wrong man. Oh, wait, we go. So that's it. You feel like you gotta step up and take responsibility. Ebina's made his choice, and I can't change it for him. Taking responsibility is already well out of the question. I know that. Regardless, I don't want him to stray past the point of no return. If he goes any further with this, that'll be it. So I'll give all I have to stop him. I have to. It's the only way I could ever make amends. I've been part of this since the beginning, after all. And with that, Kasuga, I'm leaving everything else to you. No matter what era you're in, there's always someone who breaks the rules and strays from the rest of the pack. People just like us, for what it's worth. Those people deserve a place to call home, a chance to keep going. Can I ask you to give that to them? Me? I'll take on the Yakuza's past. But you... I want you to handle their future. Oh. 
man oh <sighs> well, tall order and just like that you realize what you're asking me to do here right i will say this cure you at first even if he has his very stoic feature and Straight face. He at first didn't think it was possible, Ichi. You got this, man. Anyhow, you can count on me, Kiryu-san. You know, I joined Hello Work for all kinds of reasons. But now I see it's really just because I wanted the same future you do. <sighs> Thank you, Kasuga. That said, I do have one thing I gotta ask of you. Hmm. Don't go throwing your life away. Ebina's has gotta be stopped and you may be short on time. But don't treat this like it's the end. Kiryu-san, you gotta live. You live every last second you can. When you go, you go out strong. I won't let you otherwise. Personally, what that, that, that tells me is I don't think Curious could die in any point of the story until the very, very end, if he does. Once this is over, I'll need help cleaning up all this dissolution business. I mean, come on. You were a part of it too, right? All right. It's a deal. <laughs> Just funny, you lecturing me. <laughs> well, you live this long, you're bound to hit a surprise or two. And hey, I'll bet there's more to come, right? <laughs> right. I'm sure. Yeah, no doubt. All right. Now, I've got a lecture for you. No. Back then, just what did you tell Psycho? It must have really been something to set her off like that. Oh, we're talking about this. <laughs> Well, wow, that's immediately changed in the conversation. <laughs> so, she's still pissed at me, huh? <laughs> you proposed to her, didn't you? Uh, I did. <laughs> and she turned me down hard. I even talked it out with Namba and adachi son and apologized to her a ton. Oh, she was being all short about it. Hey, come on. Don't be so pathetic. Oh, sure. Wait, well, I, I'd love some advice. I, uh... uh... <laughs> I don't think I get much advice from uh, Kiryu on the subject. Actually, uh, never mind. You don't seem like a, a ladies' man. <laughs> and what's that supposed to mean? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, you're a good dude. Well, give me some credit. <laughs> I've been around a few times. Wait, have you really? Jeez, I, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't expect that. So what, you, you've actually proposed and stuff? <laughs> of course. For real? What all you say? You know, for reference and stuff. When I proposed. Oh. Actually. I said I love you. And that was about it. I love you. <gasps> no! Hmm? <laughs> Idiot! Why do I gotta be such a dumbass?
The only words he never said when he proposed is, I love you. Hey, what's gone into you? Hey, sorry, guys. We. Yep, I feel. We got an emergency. The heck are you? You're from the Daidoji. Oh, Daijo, 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 Daioji. You've really made a mess of it now, Kazuma Kiryu. Not only did you ignore Hanawa's standby orders, you went and made yourself famous. He didn't mean to. Last I checked, you're supposed to be dead. This is a serious breach of agreement. But I don't really need to tell you that, do I? That all said, the truth of the matter is, you've done some great work. In addition to securing your target, Akane, you also protected the key figure in the case, this Lani girl. You even brought them safely to Japan. You've got an iron will, and you're a superb fighter. Furthermore, Ichiban Kasuga calls you a friend. No one else would have what it takes to pull this off. Oh, wait, so are you praising him and we're all fine or are you mad? It sounds so official, like all that was according to plan. No, far from it. But after everything, you've certainly made things convenient for us. Right now, it's not hard to imagine what you're all thinking. Stop the Seiryu from getting shipped off to Nele Island. Is that right? Maybe. It's the same on our end. But didn't the Japanese government officiate that? Aren't you with them? No, they helped steer the government in a certain direction, is what I understand. They have a say, they whisper in the ears and give ideas. You seem to misunderstand. As far as government goes, our allegiance lies with the Citizens' Liberal Party. Or that. However, four years ago, with Ryo Aoki's failures, the CLP quickly lost trust and therefore the race. Which means the current government is our political enemy. Tch, sounds like you just want to drag them down. With them out, you guys might just find your way back in. Is that it? Make of it what you will. Now, you'll have to travel in secret, so we've got a private jet waiting. And that's how we get back to Hawaii. Okay. Just give us the word, and we'll get you there in no time flat. You're pretty cooperative, provided our interests align. Call it a politically informed decision. However, that's not the only reason we're helping you out. There's another. Hmm. <clears throat> Anawa, you see, was tasked with submitting a daily report. These would usually include a brief summary, but on one rare occasion, he added his own impressions. They were about all of you. These people are not motivated by any self-interest. They'll risk their very lives, whatever the mission. They are to be treated with respect as equals. Do so, and we'll surely achieve our goals. His words. As it turned out, that would be his final report. Before he got shot. <clears throat> you know, he rarely ever praised people. <laughs> you should be thankful. The private jet leaves tomorrow morning. Those headed to Hawaii be ready to go first thing. If I guess they're not going to separate the teams, change them up, we're all going to be stuck with the same people. So we should still be good. So Japan's future is on us. Didn't expect that, but hey, it's one more thing at this point. You scared yet? Not a chance. Tomi, Adachi-san, Jungi, Chichan. Will you guys go back to Hawaii with me? Of course. Think that's pretty much a given. Nanba, Sunny, Saiko, Zhao. 
it's all come to this. Will you join me at Millennium Tower to see it through? Curio Millennium Tower. We're with you all the way, Kiryu-san. Right. We settle things tomorrow, then. Make sure you get some rest. Uh, I like your spirit, pal. <laughs> and speaking of spirits, what say we enjoy a few, huh? Huh. That's nice of you, Chief. Hey, wow. You sure about this, Chief? <laughs> well, it ain't free. So come home safe, all right? You can pay me back then. <laughs> of course. Chief, you got it. We'll definitely take you up on that. This chief has come through us thick and thin with inf uh, infinite wealth. Only now and then, like a dragon, so many times. That man's a great man. Don't you worry. I got some soda and candy just for you. <laughs> See, man's great. Our final night together. Come on. Yeah. Now we're gonna see everyone enjoying their time together, being friends, palling around, getting to know each other. For the final confrontation of both sides. <laughs> Namba. You're the man. <laughs> he knocked out. <laughs> and then Zhao. And those two are probably. Everyone's just enjoying their last time together before we split off again. Is this the moment? Is this the moment when he proposes? Come on, Kira, you got this. Sanchana. Kira, you, Kira, you, you got this, man. Guess I'm Hawaii bound tomorrow. Still, before that, there's something, something I gotta talk to. I'm temporary, temporarily, look, temporarily gonna pause it here, I'm gonna pick it up in, you know, a couple hours, I just need a break, but yeah, don't worry, I'll be back. Alright, let's do this, let's do this. Trouble sleeping? Uh, oh, what? Ichiban? Oh, uh, sorry. Did I scare you? Oh, <laughs> no, it's fine. But Ichiban, shouldn't you be asleep? Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's nerves or something, but uh, I can't catch a wink. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> So, uh, Sachan. Uh, yeah? Um, what's up? Well, uh, 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 Sachan, if we both make it back safe, 
Uh, well, there's something I need to tell you. Y yeah? Uh, when the time comes, will you hear me out? Wait, what's this all about? Please. Just a word. That's all I ask. <sighs> okay. All right. Then we better both come back in one piece. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you be careful, Sachan. You too. <laughs> well, uh, uh, good night. Uh, good night. <sighs> okay, now I can sleep. Hmm. Still awake? Yes. It's been so long since I've been home, I guess I'm a little restless. I'm sorry, did I wake you? Are you cold? I'm okay. Thank you, Akane. Hmm? For staying with me this whole time. Hmm. You're welcome. So, um, do you like Polycana? Hmm? I do. It's, well, it's a special place for me. Then, I think it's my turn to protect you. I'm going to keep your special place safe. Lani. I mean it. I know I can do that. So rest easy. I won't let anything happen to it. Thank you, Lani. That means the world. Okay? Let's both get some sleep. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Man, no one's sleeping the night. I just got done sleeping. Got somewhere to be? <laughs> I'm not running away. I'll be back by morning. So, please, just give me some time. Oh god, it did burn down. So that's it. Just like that, it's all gone. He did set the entire house ablaze. Uh oh. Looks like you're about ready. Whoever's going to Hawaii, now's the time. Stay safe. It goes for them and you, Kiryu-san. Same to you. Till we meet again, Kasuga.
You always know when shit's about to go down when Kiryu has his original hair back, not color of course, and his outfit is iconic white and red suit. Kiryu san. I hope he's okay. We just do what we gotta do. Namba and the others are with him. He'll be fine. Right. The bleached Japan ship has already left for Nelly Island, and it won't take long. We need to hurry after them. It may be, but we can't just rush in. Let's make sure we're ready. Yeah. This fight's our responsibility. Kiryu and the others are counting on us to win. Right. Let's make them proud, then. All right. I'm gonna keep the classes we're using. I'm gonna grind the... Right. We all gonna head to the port once we're ready. June King joined the party. Ah, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, drink links with Junging are kind of hard. Night and day. Yeah, mine's kind of rusted. Okay. Alright. Let's see if there's anything. I could finally head out with a dachi there. Oh, wait. Wait, you have that side quest. Okay. I still don't see Junging Hans. Oh, wait, there's a new link. Okay, so he does have his links. Did pop up. Good, good, good. I'm not sure if we will be able to fill his link or not. Oh, yep, there's another one. Okay. He has three more. The Doko Island, you're done. Alright, so we're going here. Heading here. Alright, alright. Well, we'll do, actually do this last. We'll do Junging first. The only thing that sucks is, um... I don't know if I'm gonna get the 50 to get his entire social link done. Because everyone else is done. Bonds. Yeah, I got him to 2. He's on 3, though. Everyone else is all good to go. Meanwhile, Kiryu is almost a level 100. Which, I got a feeling as soon as I take over them, his last few memoir memories will come out. Yeah. Alright, Jingi, let's do this. Japanese master tickets? Oh. Well, that's a later thing. You looking for a meeting? Man, I will whoop your ass. Just saying. Hello! You looking for a meeting? And at this rate, the sound of those waves will have me out like a light. It's like listening to healing music. You know, the ocean is known for its calming effect. I've even found that listening to atmospheric ocean sounds helps me sleep. Oh, so it's not just me. Then maybe tonight I'll just knock out right here. If you want back pain, a cold, or you'd like being robbed, then by all means. On second thought, my room is pretty comfy. We're really opening up. Hmm. Damn, we're so close now. I like the sound of rain. That'll put you out. Alright, that's one. I have to do that after, but I want to try and get Jungin things first. You, off limits for now. There's just a couple things I need to do. Alright, District 5, and the other one is right there. Alright, Revolve, okay. Which makes me wonder how long... Well, no, Bryce is in charge. Even if he's dead, I don't think much will change. This ain't a show, dipshit. Drop all your shit. Ready to run. Cute. Full power! That's not much fast, learner. This area has a completely different vibe compared to the beaches and malls. Yeah, it's strange you're all right. Has to keep your guard up. It's strange, but I actually feel at peace in this dreary place. Perhaps this is simply instinct 
for someone who's made the underworld their home. I don't know. I like that smile you had on the beach while we were under the bright sun. I don't think the shadows are the only place where you belong. How in the world did you manage to say that without a shred of embarrassment? Well, maybe you're not wrong. All right. There we go. I feel like I've gotten to know them well. Almost rank 30. Still got a little work to do. I'm also have to look it up, because I'm pretty sure, unless it's a New Game Plus dungeon, if you pre-order the game and all that, you get an extra dungeon, but I have yet to see it. Alright. And let's finish that man's link after I get a gotcha ticket done. Alright. Uh-oh. My lucky day. All right, I got a host. Oh, is that actually in the building? Hundred percent. I think I'm also. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm only missing um one. Hey, get over here, Allison. Okay, can't be in here. Chungin, don't be picky where you want to talk, okay? Just chat. Come on, Jungi. It's right here. Let's chat. Oh yeah, healing group. Um, Jungi, come on. Is that what you want? Okay, he's being very picky right now of what he wants to talk about. Hopefully it's not a bug. I already have one of those. Alright, let's just chill with a dodgy. Second, the gauntlets you had them look different. You have iron gloves. No, no, no. You get the perfect pause, my man. What the? Oh, it's the kid. What's up? All right, don't you? Let's just chat. I can take on anything. Good 
nothing like an ocean view to go with some wine. Makes it taste even better. Well, you sure look happy at Dachi san. Heck yeah, I am. Always better to live happy, am I right? Now you're winning in life as long as you're having fun. <laughs> yes, that's true. Now, come to think of it, I've been to all sorts of places ever since I met you. Even took a trip to Osaka, too. Oh, we sure did. Now here we are, two pals, having some drinks in Hawaii. <laughs> We're a long ways from home now. You know, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to call ourselves travel buddies. Hmm? Isn't that kind of an exaggeration? Nah, we just gotta make it happen. Let's go on even more trips. All of us. Paris or, ooh, New York would be great. Any places you want to visit? Me? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, okay. Um... I'd love to visit Okinawa one day. Akiryu-san said it was a great place. <sighs> no doubt. And the local specialties are to die for, too. Soki soba, Jinsuko cookies, Okinawan donuts, and all. Oh, can't forget the awamori. Great. Now I'm starving. Oh, sounds like we're both gonna gain some weight over in Okinawa. Oh, the sea breeze here feels real nice. And the ocean's damn gorgeous at night, too. That makes for a nice photo op, huh? Actually, why don't we take one? You in, or what? What? Uh, me? Yeah, I mean, we're already here and all, and hell, count me in, too. Hmm. Okay, that was a pretty good shot. Maybe we ought to go around taking pictures more often. Definitely. Let's just keep at it and explore where we can. Sounds good to me. Okay. The problem now is you... You... Only real quick, because I wanted to see if I was bugged. I don't think I am. Just Jungi does not want to talk about that for some reason. Alright, let's change the time of day real quick. Because I am trying to at least get his link done. If time not, put our feet up. Jungi, you interested in something? Welcome. Now let's chat with you. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay, he wants some. Welcome. I'm gonna use ingredients. Okay. Ooh, that's really good. I'm gonna get it. And then the tea. No. Um. Yeah. And then. Oh. And then. Ooh. Seafood's really good. Thank you. Alright, those are oh shit items. Oh, there it is. Sure is a beautiful starry sky. It is. But I'm partial to the stars you can see over Komijo. And Pope! Smile! For the Bone Festival, Sony and I sit in moon gaze while eating tango. Oh, for real? So you guys go all out celebrating the holidays then. Social events are crucial. They help us to better appreciate culture and lift morale. Then dango and other treats can be enjoyed to the fullest extent. As they should be, right? Yeah, you know it. So, how about next time we go stargazing? Let's enjoy some shave ice. Hmm, that sounds nice. Count me in. Hmm. We're really opening up. There we go. And he's done. All complete. All right, now he's going to chat with me, be like, let's hang out here. We'll do that. And then, yeah. I'm beginning to feel a little hungry. 
And then let's stop somewhere. What are you in the mood for? Hmm. How about Chinese food? Sounds good to me. Let's head over to the Black Hibiscus. Oh, wait. Okay. Nope. Let me change the time of day. <laughs> hey, Gazaga. Hey, Adachi. All right, we'll change the time of day, do that, and then change the... You know, actually, no, no, no. I'm going to stick with Knight. I'm going to keep increasing his rank my way. I'm going to do that side quest, though. That one side quest I haven't done. Might as well. Also, if you're wondering how I'm going to increase his link, there's one way I can do this. We're all about to get very, very fat. We'll start here. Wait, what the? Oh, fireworks. Holy cow, I'm like, I'm loading into a war zone? You're not worth my time. But I'm gonna battle you. <laughs> Let's give it everything we've got! We don't plan on losing. Time for a Sujimon battle! Remember, have fun out there! Any last words? Knuckle sandwich, extra knuckle! Yeah. You're not using your knuckle. Okay, now what? This will put you down. Yeah. Here comes Punchy! Yeah. Oh, okay, bravo. Oh, this is getting exciting. Any last words? <laughs> Nicely oh. done. Go for broke now. All right, he's gonna go down. Nice knowing you, man. Knuckle sandwich, extra yep. knuckle. Yeah. <sighs> I choose you. We're just warming up. I have an idea. Swap. Time to shake things up. And there. Nice. Here comes Punchkin. That was awesome. Wasn't as good as I thought it'd be. Oh well. Knuckle sandwich, extra knuckle. Right. I believe in you all. I choose you. Get ready. Behold the beauty. You see that? That's the game. We did it. You guys are the best! But let's wrap up this victory! And smile! Oh, the one guy's being hidden by the head of the cosplayer. Who's that Sujimon? It's... Game Boss! Game Boss, Game Boss. I can't help but do that every bloody time. No. Are you in a taco too? We Not can't really. Hey. Oh yeah, Chitose should be here. Hey Chitose, how you doing? Hmm. Oh.
Alright, she wants a shaved ice cream set. This is it. That came out well. Oh, aloha. Listen, we're splurging. Huh? This thing is bursting with green for a hamburger. Well, yeah, it's an avocado burger. It's healthy, it's tasty, and the sauce hits the spot. True, the avocado does have some kick, and even a bit of heft. <laughs> What's wrong, Adachi san? Not liking it? No, the burger's great. It's just that I've always thought guacamole was pronounced guacamole, and only just realized it now. I'm pretty sure I've been saying guacamole my whole life. Damn it all. Hey, don't let that get you down. At least you noticed eventually, right? Oh, this is actually the perfect chance to do an avocado quiz. <clears throat> Here we have the avocado, a vegetable, or a fruit. Uh, you're asking as if I knew shit. Just ask Kasuga. I'll knock it off with the attitude, Adachi-san. Um, but now that I think about it, which is it? Um, fruit? It's gotta be... a fruit! Correct! Nice job! Well, in some countries it might be considered a vegetable, but at least in Japan, it's a fruit. Same as how tomatoes are considered either a vegetable or fruit, depending on the country. Well, avocados were a vegetable. Everything I ever knew was a damn lie. <laughs> oh, he's having a oh, life no. crisis. I've made it worse. Hey, cheer up. We never truly stop learning in life. Heck, I've learned a ton of new things since I got here. Just think of it as earning more EXP. Kasuga, <laughs> now you got some wisdom in you. You're right. I should keep my chin up. Now that's the spirit of Dachi-san. Such passion. All because of some avocado. So, let's get smart and chow down on some health food. I'm going all in on this burger with extra guacamole. Ah, <sighs> oh, so close. I knew it! I'm a wreck! Ah, oh, Adachi san. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that's a lot of guacamole. That oh, is great. That is my plate. Thanks very much. All right. Video calls still get me nervous, even when it's with friends. It's just not the same as talking face to face. Well, you'll get used to it after a while. You'll mess up a lot less, too. What do you mean, mess up? Blue boy. Hey, this was back when I was working at the company. Now, I was uh, feeling a sneeze well up, so I figured I'd go on mute. Sounds like good online etiquette to me. Thing is, my computer was muted all the way up until then. Wait, so you thought you had your mic on the whole time, but in reality... A uh, guy that was silent throughout the entire meeting ended up sneezing at full volume. <laughs> and what's worse is, I didn't even notice till the end. I'd be like, what is wrong with this guy? And they could see my face, too, completely oblivious. Be careful with your mic, Smoke. From now on, I will think of your face whenever I sneeze, Adachi-san. Oh, that's actually really funny. You're gonna cry for my How exciting. I'll show you a fight. Oh wow, you are I can do this. Oh. Let's do this. That's picking time. Alright, Kanoi, behave. Alright, let's go do that last side quest I have marked in the map. And what I'm gonna do after is I'm gonna then look at a list online of what's you know, um, you know, side stories there are. And I'm gonna make sure I have all the ones I want done before I beat the game. Because the point of no return is the point of no return. Once I go over there on that boat, end game. Game will probably be beaten in um, two and a half, three hours ish. Oh, Mr. Kazuga. I'm glad you decided to come. Are you ready to go to the clearing? Yep, let's go. Let's do it.
we have this side quest, which I started at the first night time. I'm finally finished. No, I didn't start at night time. I started in the day, then I went to night. Oh, she lives where all the punks want to kill me. This spot, huh? It's kind of dark out. Oh, I see the tracks. Do you really think these are crop circles? Mr. Katsuga, this way. We'll be spotted if we stand out in the open. Stand in the open. I keep adding words. Now, my guess is it's a... Drone. You really think it'll show? It has to. I mean, how else am I going to get my chicken back? Okay. Right. Guess now we just sit here and wait. Still nothing. Yeah. You think maybe it's not coming? It's too early to give up. And now we're sleeping. What? Hmm? Uh. I said stop mooing, you wake the cows. We That noise. Did he, did he make her hover? Sujimaru? Karen-san, wake up. Mm. What's going on? It's so bright. Is it morning? No, look. The, the cow. Huh? Huh? Look, cow. UFO! Wait, what's a cow doing here? Remember the ranch? It's gonna ca get cat cattle mutilated. Huh? Cattle mutilated? Give me back my chicken, you stinking UFO. Yeah, and that cow too. And there's a suitcase right there I could loot. You said you were going to get weapons, right? What, where are they? Yes. They're over there. Use anything you want. Right. Uh, one of these seems like a diff- <laughs> It's in a different league, but I can't worry about that now. What should I use? You know what? Alright, I'll knock this UFO out of the damn park. Got some baseball defense shield. Mm. Crash and burn, you alien scum. Uh, she threw a rock. Right, now I get it. No mercy for the UFO. What should I use? Well, she just threw a rock, so let's go big or go home. I don't know how a lady got her hands on an RPG, but we're doing this. I'll blast you straight back into the wormhole you rode in on, UFO. Gotta aim this just right. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Nice shot, Mr. Kazuga. Hmm? Why do I feel like it's... It is Sujimaru. Huh? Huh? What did you just say? Don't tell me. You and the aliens were in cahoots the whole time. No, no. I don't know any aliens. And if I were on their side, could I have just shot them with a rocket launcher? Hmm, I guess not. Maybe I'm imagining things. 
No, that is Sujimaru. Look out. Something's coming. Whoa. I know who you are. Hey, Lord Shrub! It's me! It's... it's... Woo! <laughs> Miserable experience! Ah, but nighttime air is refreshing. An old man? Is this some kind of interstellar nursing home? That's not just any old man. That's... Professor Okita? Hmm? Oh, Lord Shrub, is that you? Fancy running into each other out here. <sighs> Mr. Kasuga, do you know this alien geriatric? Uh, well, sort of. He's no alien. And if he's here, then that means... That means this damn thing is Soji Maru. Oh, close. She's not quite the Sojimaru you know. Her name is... Sojimaru Flying Beta Max! Sojimaru Flying Beta Max? Mm hmm Sojimaru's final evolution. The great vacuum cleaner Apotheosis. Till now, no matter her capabilities, Sojimaru was always confined to sucking up trash on cold, unfeeling land. However, the Sojimaru Flying Betamax is at last free! No more is she shackled to the Earth. Was that really the issue, Doc? Questions like that are the bane of all great visionaries. Think, Lord Shrub. Imagine the possibilities. Soaring majestically through the air. Sucking up trash from above. Hate to say it, but exactly what just happened with us, more people will do. That's so Jamaru going to fall one way or another. Free from her terrestrial shackles, so Jamaru can cross the sea and suck up trash from every nation on Earth. You see the potential, don't you? Yeah, I guess so. And from such a high vantage point, spotting trash will be easier than ever for her. Picture her, flying through the air, above the seas, sucking up trash. With an army of Sojimaru, we could clean the planet itself! And it all starts right here, with the ultimate vacuum. Sojimaru Flying Betamax! Mm, there's a lot of promise there, Doc, I guess. I can't help but have a bad feeling, though. Um, excuse me! There's still the matter of my chicken. Your UFO vacuum sucked her up. Hmm? Chicken? Right. This woman's pet chicken got abducted by your vacuum. <laughs> you think you can get it back to her? Oh, now that you mention it, there was a chicken in there with me that I couldn't explain. Odd, though. According to her latest programming, she shouldn't be sucking up any living beings, much less chickens. Really, this time? I made doubly sure. You think my Sojimaru can't tell trash from non-trash? Did you make it sexist again where it sucks up men and that woman? Hmm. That's no vacuum cleaner. That's a lethal weapon. You'll see. I'll just press this button and give you a demonstration right now. Don't do it. Sojimaru. No, no. Sojimaru's gonna be damaged from the RPG. Clean up the trash. Trash. Trash detected. Cleaning mode activated. Oh, huh? no. <sighs> Figures. Lord Shrub, help me! Sojimaru's gone crazy! She must think I'm trash! It can't be. Was she listening when I drank myself depressed last night and started crying that the whole world is garbage? 
You have got to be more careful about passing down these kinds of issues, Doc. <laughs> oh, whatever. Just help me. Oh, and to give her more durability, I refitted her chassis with special armor. Oh, She's God basically damn it. a flying tank now. <laughs> FYI. Why does a vacuum need special armor? M M M Mr. Kostika! Get behind me, Karen. I'll take this thing down and save your chicken and the professor. And the cow. Oh, thank you. Look out! You got Sojimaru's attention, Lord Shrub! She's coming after you! Damn it! Bring it on, then! How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I will leave the sky himself, Sojimaru's final form. Oh, we're doing this way... Ooh. Oh, the music. I can do this. No, we're taking out the battery charger, so. Let's get it done. It's like a remix. I definitely did that way later than I could have. <laughs> the battle thing was a really nice take on the uh, original. It was like a remix. It was good. Uh oh. Also, I love how every time Soji Mar goes out of control, we beat it up. We basically not destroy it, but make it so it's no longer functioning. He keeps enhancing the armor so she can't get hurt. <laughs> It, it's down. Lord Shrub, that was incredible. <laughs> Becky, oh, I'm so glad you're safe. Ooh. Holy shit. What? What happened? <laughs> oh my god, there's more people Why in there. Why exactly are all these old men coming out of her now? It seems that she's predisposed toward considering old men to be trash. I wonder why that is. Sheesh. Uh, look, ambition is one thing, Doc. Uh, but in these kinds of tech fields, you really might need some precautions. You know how, like... A really hyped up video game is super disappointing if it comes out buggy and unpolished. Same kind of thing. Oh man, we've been feeling that a lot. <laughs> Which is why I think Yakuza Infinite Wealth enjoying the game entirely. Nothing against the game. It's the last game I'm pre-ordering on release before release, because my god, just I'm glad this one's the only game I pre-ordered. In a while. But holy cow, every game that comes out nowadays is just a broken buggy mess. On top of that, it's not that good. I'm just going to stick with retro games and play Backlog for now. Mm. It hurts to hear, but I suppose you're right. You've had to save me too many times. Here, at least take this. Oh, I mean, I already got a few of those. I owe you two. Thank you so very much. You believed me and got my Becky back. Oh, it's a Geo Dancer one. Okay. I guess now people won't take you for some delusional sci-fi nerd, huh? <laughs> I sure hope not. 
Looks like UFOs aren't real after all. Indeed. UFOs, aliens. Oh no, a UFO's gonna fly by. Aliens, it's all magical thinking. Next time you spot a UFO, just assume it's a scientific prototype like mine. <laughs> Come on, give me a break already. Ho ho ho! There is no progress without failure, my friends! Wait. Oh no. All right, well, we lost a cow. Oh! Sojimaro Flying Betamax is a pound mate. Oh, uh, okay. That one might be a fun use, not gonna lie. All right, is there anything else that unlocked on the map? It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna go to Revolve, change it to daytime, hang out with Jungi. Also, see if anything appeared on the map. Maybe I'll call the episode after that. Then I'm gonna see. It's probably about that time, anyways, because we're at the bloody end of the game. I'm gonna see the side quest list. See if I have them all done. I'm gonna do your thing later, Jungi. Don't worry. But yeah. Let me do this. We're gonna change the time of day. Rest until noon or evening. All noon. All right. Now I should be able to hang out with Jungi, and I'm curious in seeing if there are any side quests that appear because I know I'm missing a couple. The question is, where am I missing a couple? Alright. I mean, I, I have a feeling it's with, uh, Jitose and all them. All the girls you can technically give, uh, things to. Which, if so, I will do that off-screen, cause, yeah. Alright, uh, Jungi, where's your thing? I'm looking for the hearts. Ah, there it is. Right here. Okay, the black hibiscus. We'll have your link here, and then probably call it, and then I'm gonna see if I'm missing any. Or I actually I can check the list now. It's in my inventory. Nope. Ah, this is it. All right, sub stories. One. All right. Ah, yeah, there's, a uh, four missing here. Oh, jeez, yeah, oh, my, oh, yeah, I have a couple missing. And, well, also, are these all Hawaiian? Let me see. Oh! Okay, next time we're doing a mismatch. Oh, that one kind of made me cry. Okay, these are... Oh, the Sujimon League. Alright, guess I'm gonna start grinding out my Sujimon. I'll just grind out this group for now. Oh yeah, I'll have to grind out my Sujimon, do that. And then these are probably date links, maybe? Okay. Well, let's hang out with Jungi. Also, give me a second. Is it? Oh. Okay. These aromas really do stimulate the appetite. What should we try first? Alright, let's see. Oh, oh, 
Coltor doing okay? If not, I could always do the eating. <laughs> I appreciate your consideration, but I'm quite all right. I have high pain tolerance when it comes to issues like this. You don't have to push yourself. Just eat once you're better. I'm only kidding. My cold sore's all gone. Even spicy ramen shouldn't be a problem now. Okay. As long as you're fine, I don't want to force you. Thanks for your concern. You do eat a lot, though, Junki. When the two of us meet up, it feels like all we do is eat. Meals are the basis of life. But since you mentioned it, I feel like I do eat out more when I'm with you, Kasuga-san. <laughs> well, a meal just tastes better when you're with a kindred spirit, am I right? The fact that you say such things sincerely and truly mean it, that's a noble trait. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a compliment, right? Of course. My personal commendation. <laughs> At any rate, sometimes a home-cooked meal is more appealing than an extravagant dinner out. True. Hmm. Would you be down to take a cooking class together? Huh? The two of us? Yeah! I can't cook to save my life, and you're a beginner, right? That could be fun! Let's slap on some aprons and learn some new skills! Wouldn't have imagined the two of us in a cooking class. <laughs> Sounds great. Honestly, everything you do is amusing and absolutely nuts. Ooh, that meal was phenomenal. Ah, you should see the smile on your face. I'm totally sending a pic to Sunny. Give that as a status report, you know? Status reports are fine and good, but why now? Unless you intend to be in the picture. Besides, don't you report to Kiryu-san? What's the point of reporting to Kiryu-san that we just finished eating? Well, why not? Hmm. What an utterly ridiculous photo. Son, he doesn't need to see that. Isn't ridiculous just business as usual? Can't argue there. <laughs> There's never a dull moment with you, Kasuga-san. Hey, the feeling's mutual. All right, come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Damn. But about fried rice really takes me back. Actually, I just remembered. It was a cold winter night. Whoa! Does he normally start monologuing out of nowhere? Back when I was an officer. I was out with a colleague of mine and we ordered fried rice to share. Ah, we were just a couple of rookies at the time. With hardly a yen to our names. Can you believe it? The bastard ate all the shrimp! There was barely any to begin with! Well, one thing led to another, and then we were trading blows! So what happened next? Well, the restaurant banned our dumbasses, that's what. Can't say that I didn't see that coming. That's a damn tragedy. Realizing I'd never taste that fluffy, buttery bowl of heaven again. But, as luck would have it, one day I was finally reunited with the dish of my dreams. The restaurant lived to the ban? Oh, nah. I ended up making a perfect recreation after stumbling upon this Chinese seasoning I scored from a local supermarket. <laughs> oh. Well, it was a heartwarming lesson in my life. I realized then that a rose really could grow from a crack in some cold, hard concrete. That make you all warm and fuzzy inside, Tommy? Right now, the only thing that would make me warm and fuzzy is never hearing him again. <laughs> that oh, is great. No. Means my plate. All right. Well, for now, I think this. Oh wait, 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 wait. Kinda dizzy right now. Totally. <laughs> All right. 
Yep, go there. Bring your friend with the weird bugged voice too, why not? I still don't understand that bug, it was weird. Aloha! Thank you. Alright. I'm gonna end this one here. So next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably have the Sujimon leagues already. I'm gonna just level my guys up. And then I'm also going to double check, make sure I'm gonna do probably there. I know there's, uh, I'm gonna double check, make sure that I have all the side quests I can do before, you know, I finish the game. Rather experience it now than, you know, end of the game. Ooh, I uh, yeah. We'll see you next time. Hope we have all those things prepared. We can kick them out. Until next time, goodbye.